HQ and said what had happened. They were just as much in the dark. They rang Div HQ and, uh, and Div HQ then said yes, it's all above board, mm. that it's correct. Um, mm. th th they've gone to capitulate. Mm. Uh, Percival's agreed that uh, it has to be so. The water, water's been cut. Civilian population couldn't face, face it any longer. Mm. And um, uh, so the message was sent back that we had to move um, some of the wire to allow this car to go through. But the uh, rather um, humorous thing is that uh, I suppose in some ways it was such a very, very good um, uh, barrage that we built. Uh -huh. the, the Colonel said, no, you leave it alone, leave it where it is. And uh, they just had to um, get out of their cars. Uh -huh. They couldn't get through. Uh -huh. And they walked the rest of the way with uh -huh. about four Japs uh -huh. and went up to the Ford factory. Uh -huh. uh, there's a path, a path there that's not shown in books very much, but uh, I gather that um, the, uh, the Jap uh, colonel uh, uh, said, no, I want Percival uh -huh. personally in this group at the capitulation. Percival, of course, had stayed back in the cars. And so the whole group came down again in front of my position, picked up Percival, and went back again. Uh -huh. And uh, from then on, of course, uh, uh, they, they had a power wow and uh, things were decided when um, the, uh, hostilities would cease. Um, I can remember um, trying to tell the men. They, it, it was very difficult to, when, when you've got uh, boxes full of ammo, uh, you know, um, hand grenades all out primed, ready to chuck, uh, you know, to tell people, sorry, but, uh, you know, the game's over. Mm. Uh, very, very difficult to believe. Mm. Uh, to, to, to think that uh, you'd seen your friends and your, your own company, you know, being lashed around and uh, killed and sniped. Uh, very, very difficult. Mm. Uh, I, I, I can remember um, taking off Miss Sam Brown and uh, uh, putting my revolver down. I went across to, uh, it was only a couple of hundred yards, and uh, I had a, a chat with, uh, who, you know, the, the Jap officer who was virtually, you know, opposite me in the fighting. And uh, he was a pretty decent, uh, you, you know, when I say decent uh, for a Jap, I mean that he mm. was um, a, um, a regular soldier. And he spoke English, obviously. And he spoke English well. He was an mm. architect from Tokyo. Mm. And um, he gave me um, some food. Uh, he uh, he was in the um, elite battalion uh, that, that they don't talk about much in books, but uh, they were the foremost um, power that came through onto Singapore Island. They were f in a first class fighting force. Mm. And, um, and uh, uh, he'd already been told that he wouldn't be in Singapore for more than a couple of days. He was he was he was off to Java oh, with his men. Really? Yes. Mm. Do you did you actually know his name? No. 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 Mm. No, I never got his name. Mm. Now, what time of the day did Percival go forward? You know, do you, can you visualise? Was it midday? No, it was afternoon. Was afternoon. Or? Late afternoon, or yeah, I see four. -ish, I seem yeah. to remember it was yes, mm. yes. And uh, then, what time did, did the uh, ceasefire become effective? Uh, there was sporadic um, fire went on for 
I think until seven in the evening at mm. least. Wow. Mm. And then when the ceasefire happened, what was it, it like? Was, it was quite incredible. Yeah. Quite um, mac macabre. Oh. Uh, you, you get you get a sort of noise in, in battle that um, you, you sort of get attuned to. It uh, sounds silly, but it, you know, uh, it's there with you all the time. But um, the sudden cessation of artillery. Mm. Uh, see, there were there were, there were extraordinary things were happening. They were firing bofors and um, quite large anti-aircraft guns. Mm. They they were firing them on level sites. Mm. No, I understand. Um, mm. At the infantry. Japanese infantry. Yes, oh. you you know, so that uh, uh, there was absolute noise and bedlam uh, for the period we were fighting, mm. and uh, most men say that that sudden silence was was quite incredible. Mm. Mm. Now we'll 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 now progress, um, and, and so from from there yeah. we we went into Singapore. Uh, we were given a compass point oh. by um, our company commanders and um, uh, no one knows to this day who issued that because the compass point given was direct to Singapore docks, yeah. Keppel Harbour. Yes. Um, presumably people still thought that um, if we got to Singapore we'd go on board ship and uh, away we go oh. home. Oh. But uh, of course it was chaos all the way. The, oh. the Jap shelled us. We suffered probably more casualties um, going down Bukatima Road um, on this on this bearing into Singapore oh. than during the battle. Oh. Absolute mayhem it was. Oh. And of course um, I should have mentioned the, the last stages of uh, Bukatima battle. The, the numbers of troops um, left uh, and, and making their way back oh. and out of the battle oh. caused chaos oh. and uh, we're, they were in a shocking state oh. um, so that uh, you can imagine the, 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 uh, the horrible mess of mixed battalions of men and, um, oh. Disorganisation. Shocking oh. disorganisation. Oh. Mm. But we made our way across country, bombed all the way, mortared. There was a, a curious thing, the Jap Japs had a balloon up, observation balloon, um, which sort of watched, uh, we must have looked like a, you know, a black snake making our way down oh. to Singapore. They're just peppering us the whole way. Oh. We went into Singapore lost quite a few uh, people uh, because of, of this daily bombing. We, um, about 12 o'clock noon, down came the lot. But hadn't they, you know, with the ceasefire, hadn't that all stopped? No, no. no? Uh, it, it took quite a, quite a time, oh. um, a sporadic... Um, oh, right. Uh, um, you know, presumably, um, you know, Japs holding their own. Oh. Uh, and uh, in Singapore, we we managed to get to Raffles, and, uh, and Raffles was one good place for cars. Um, the uh, civilian population was still pooping around um, using Raffles. Uh, we pinched a, a German car, uh, a fellow officer, and about four ranks. Mm. Uh, from Raffles Forecourt, and we we could see there was no hope whatever. It, it was absolute chaos in 